I'm Rob G. I'm a ski expert at Curated.com, and I've helped over a thousand people find the right skis for them. I'm here today at Powder Mountain, Utah, where I just skied on the Rossignol Sender 94 Ti. I'm not sponsored by Rossignol. Rossignol is not paying for this review. I'm not sponsored or paid by any other ski company. So you can rest assured that the review I'm about to give is based on my honest and unbiased opinion about my time on this Rossignol 94 Sender Ti. Rossignol claims that this ski is a playful, all-mountain ski. My first impressions of the Rossignol 94 uh, Sender Ti was that it was a playful, easy to maneuver ski with a little bit of stiffness to allow for greater speed. First impressions is that this is just like really easy to ski. For the West, it's gonna be a really great everyday ski. It's not gonna be great for skiing powder. It's not gonna be the best ski for the most bulletproof icy days, but it's gonna be able to handle pretty much everything that you can come across. The teeth and all in inside of it means that it's gonna have more vibration dampening. It's gonna do better on the crustier icy days um, than a ski without it. And so this is just like a really good, like one ski to do it all. Not a master of anything, but like reasonably good pretty much anywhere you take it. Don't forget, if you need help finding the right skis for you, reach out to me on curated.com and I'll get you set up. It has some pretty decent rocker in the tip and then not much in the tail. Um, that makes sure that it's a good carver. It's gonna make good turns on a groomer. And this rocker is gonna allow it to float in powder pretty well. So like other Rossignol Sender skis, uh, this ski features air tip technology that creates a low swing weight. It also means that the tips can shatter a little bit when you're going over refrozen, uneven terrain, but it's a ski that handles well on edge. Doesn't like super aggressive forward input, but if you've got a more centered stance and you're turning by tipping to the side from the ankle, the ski's gonna make some nice carved turns for you. This ski is pretty directional. It has a more traditional tail, which means it will like to carve more than it likes to pivot. This means it takes a little more muscle to throw it around in the trees. It's definitely easy to turn quickly, um, but it's not going to be like the easiest ski for skiing trees, if that's what you're primarily looking to do, or you're not a very strong skier. This ski does not feel as stable as some super hard chargers. That's a trade-off for the accessibility, but it is maneuverable at lower speeds and would be a fun ski to ski um, at a mix of slow to moderate to reasonably high speeds. I wouldn't take this through a race course or charge at Mach Looney speeds on this ski. This is a solid intermediate through advanced all mountain ski for someone who's just looking for versatility, someone that's skiing in the west and wants one ski that's gonna do everything, or someone in the east who wants one ski for their more powder days, soft days, still wants some float, but wants to be able to ski ice as well. Skis work differently for different skiers, so if you're looking for the right skis for you, click the link in the description and I'll be happy to help you out. If you like watching this video, hit the subscribe button so that you can get access to more video content from me and my fellow curated experts.